Well, it is that time of year when we see a rise in respiratory illnesses, and now there's a new warning out from the CDC about a new COVID-19 variant. It's currently the fastest growing strain of the virus in the U.S. So today, Mandy Gaither looks into what you need to know about the symptoms and risks of this new variant. In a matter of weeks, it's expected to become the leading coronavirus variant around the world. JN1 has been dubbed a variant of interest by the World Health Organization because it's spreading quickly. We kind of sensed something different was brewing. Dr. Joseph Cabaza is a pulmonary and critical care physician at Cleveland Clinic. He says the past couple of weeks he's seen more people being admitted into the ICU with long issues related to COVID-19. They have not led to as many ventilators or kind of the, nothing like the volume we saw early on, uh, but it, it really that has been the notable change. The CDC estimates COVID-19 cases more than doubled in the U.S. between late November and mid-December, perhaps from holiday travel and waning immunity. JN1 only has one change to its spike protein compared with the variant it descended from, but that change seems to have been enough to make JN1 a fitter and faster virus. If you have diabetes or uh, obesity or heart failure, or especially if you're on medications that lower your immune system, um, you know, you're, you're in a higher risk category. To protect yourself and those around you, Cabaza says to first know your risk, whether you're vulnerable to severe disease. Then if you're having respiratory symptoms, test for COVID-19. If you're infected, antiviral medications can help if given early. Minimizing you know, your odds of being hospitalized uh, or, or getting very sick. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Now, don't forget, it's not too late to get your COVID vaccine. And doctors say the current shots can protect you from severe illness caused by this latest strain. And as always, continue washing your hands and just stay home if you're experiencing symptoms or just not feeling well. well